Hi family, it is a joy for me to take this time to invite you to pray with me uh, during this hour of need. Um, let's focus our attention to God more than just the coronavirus that is plaguing us at this moment. Join me as we pray together. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for the grace that you have shown us. We thank you for the love that you have bestowed upon us. That today, Lord, wherever we are, we can come and approach the throne of grace because you have given us access through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father, even as we bring our hearts to you, we are mindful, Father, of all the things that you have done for us. And we do want to return all glory and honor to you. Thank you for protecting us, even during this time. And we do want to come as, as a family, as a unit to you, and ask that you would be with us and continue to place your hand of protection over us. In our hour of need, Lord, we turn again to you, for we have nowhere else to turn. We put our faith in you because we have proved your faithfulness time and time and again. We reaffirm our love for you because you have never let us go. Our Father, we thank you that you are not distant from us, but have drawn near through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. He has shared your life with us. And today, Lord, by faith, we have tasted what it means to be loved by you. Lord Jesus, thank you that you understand our worries and our fears. Help us to respond as your children now, even as we face this impending pand pa pandemic. We pray that, Lord, through your love, that your grace may be spread across this world. Remembering, Father, that no one of us can be lost. We pray, especially this moment, Lord, for those who are seriously ill. We uphold our nation, and particularly our national health services, as it responds to this added pressure. We just pray, Father, that you'll give men and women in this sector the kind of wisdom they need. We pray especially for the doctors, the nurses, and all in the caring professions who work to help and to support people as best as they can. We remember those working behind the scenes, Lord, that your hand may be upon them. Those who are testing samples, confirming results, and giving information to patients. We uphold others trying to understand this virus better. Please, Lord, in your mercy, help them to create an effective remedy sooner. We pray for our government, Lord, particularly our president and those uh, that are supporting him, him as they work with the best medical advice to guide us on how we should respond and what action we should take. We pray that these guidelines, Lord, may be taken seriously by us all as a nation. May this crisis, Lord, that we are facing today bring the best in us, not the worst. Help us to live by faith during this time, not by fear. To build bridges, not barriers. And to resist all who would speak ill during this time of your goodness and your grace to us. May we not forget our responsibility, Lord. Things that are simple that we can do every day to protect one another. Help us, our Father, to find ways of keeping in touch and offering ourselves to you and to those who may be needing us during this time. To those, Lord, who are suffering, who have underlying health issues in our community, 
Help us, Lord, to find creative ways in which we can be of help. For those who are feeling particularly vulnerable during this time or in danger as the virus spread, we just pray, Father, that your hand of protection will be felt by them. We pray for all the disruptions that this virus has caused to our normal life, bringing new fears and anxieties. We pray for those who have been laid off and who will probably face a bleak future in the, fu in the future. We pray for those who may at this time be facing some financial hardships, individuals, Lord, and businesses that are going to find some serious challenges going forward. For the impact on the economy, on the pensions of the people, austerity measures that may be needed going forward. Please, Lord, hear our prayers we come. We confess again, Father, that we are helpless. Apart from you, we can do nothing. So, Lord, please um, cover us this day. May our inconvenience not blind us to the things that we can do, regardless of our situation. We remember those, Father, this time we cannot visit their loved ones who are locked down, particularly the, the elderly in, in care homes. Please, Lord, help them stretch your hand and comfort them. Help us to find creative ways of keeping in touch, assuring one another of your goodness to us. I pray for our congregation, Lord, that we may find ways of living through this time, ways of encouraging one another and loving each other. May we, may we not forget our faith, but draw strength from it. So may our worship, Lord, be heartfelt, our fellowship be deepened during this time, our service increase. God of grace, God of mercy, hear our prayers at this time and strength, uh, strengthen us through your spirit. May we carry out our lives as best as we are able, looking out to others, showing love in action, being faithful in our prayer, and bringing encouragement and hope and peace, always trusting in you, our rock, our redeemer, for we ask all this thing in your name, Jesus Christ, Son of God, our brother and our friend. Amen.